what's up guys it's Talha here and in this video we are going to be rendering our backyard scene so let's get started here I'm in Revit and before I get started I would like to suggest you to check out the first two parts of this tutorial series in which I showed you how to model this simple backyard anyway now we'll go to the level 1 to create the camera so you can select the camera from here or you can go to view tab and you will find it here so select this and we will create our camera from here and just take this far just don't don't click near this wall just take this far as you can you can see we have to change our change the height of this camera so you will find it here in the camera you will find this eye elevation will make it 3 feet and target elevation also will make 3 feet and now we can see our backyard clearly okay handles are missing here on the door so you have to change this detail level to fine and now we can see our handles i think we have to change this door a bit up because we cannot see the whole door here you can see this these frames are missing so select this curtain you have to select the curtain wall you don't need to select the door you have to select this curtain wall then the base offset will make 3 inches now we can see the whole door here now we will turn on the shadows so click here shadows and you can see the sun is on this side so we want to change it we want to change it because you can see it's this part is very very dark if i if we make render it will not go it will not look good so to change this direction of the sun you need to go here visual styles or you can change it in the render dialog you can just click here and the sun settings you will find it here so we want sun to be on the top left so select this apply and you can see it's a bit more clear and now click ok first let's try a draft render so keep it draft here and screen exterior sun only and we'll keep few clouds then render So the rendering is finished and you can see there's too much reflectivity on the floor. So we will change it. Just click on this show the model and select this this floor. Close this dialog and go to edit type. Edit wood and just click on this appearance and we will we will change the reflectivity to 4 this direct will be 4 and oblique to ok ok and let's try this one so I think it's enough now and everything is ok and now we will go for the final render change the settings to medium if you have a high PC you can select best or high from here I will select only medium and printer set this to 300 dpi 
and we'll keep it everything is same as is then render so the rendering is finished you can see it took five minutes and let's close this dialog and we will first export this render so to do that you need to go here export and you can call it whatever you like and you can select the file format as well I will select this JPEG then save now we will adjust some exposure to see it will look more good or not so first we will change the exposure value let's make it a bit brighter apply okay so let's return it back okay let's keep it like this if you want to check all this you can check for now i will just keep it like this and we will make the night render so first change this to draft again because first we will check if everything is okay or not then we will change it to medium then here also resolution also change it to screen and lighting you have to set exterior artificial only because we want to do a night render so it's exterior also so you have to select exterior artificial only and I think it will not affect anything or the night render if you want to add a, add a sky image you can use but I will just keep it few clouds and let's click render so it's finished now let's close this and you can see we have to make a lot of changes here we don't want any reflection on this door but we only want reflection on this on this shade here so we have to fix it and this also not looking good so let's close this and we will change the color of the lights also so but before that what I usually do is I will save the project not save but save as project and we will call it night because we want to change we want to change some textures also so we, which will affect on the day render also so we will save a different file for the night render then save and we will work on the changes here so first select this door you have to select the door not the glass not the curtain wall just take here take the cursor here and hit tab key and do select the door you can see it here door curtain wall then edit type glazing you will find the glass texture here click here at the corner okay, so first we will duplicate this one because we don't want this to affect on this on the shade here so we will create a new material so we'll create a duplicate right click duplicate then appearance before making any changes you have to click here duplicate this asset if you did if you don't do this it will affect on this texture also this this material also so you have to click here first duplicate this asset then we will change reflectivity here this reflectance just take this down just reduce this maybe four or five will be okay then okay the other thing which I wanted to change is the color of these lights so select this and click edit type go down and you will find the color here click on it and change this to this high pressure mercury let's try this one if it if this one not work we will change try another one so first let's try this which i usually use for night renderings then okay 
okay and for interior lights select this edit type and we will okay we'll keep it high pressure sodium okay okay and now let's try the render but before that we have to change the ref reflectivity of this floor edit and let's increase this to something like nine okay now let's try click on it and make it drop render now you can see the door is looking fine now but it's too dark so we will use exposure to adjust the brightness so click here and let's increase this exposure value maybe we'll make like seven apply change again again so but these lights are also very very bright now so you can use you can adjust the highlights to change them we'll make it darker just make zero highlights apply okay still it did not affect so it means we have to change the words of these lights so go back again and select this light I think it was 277 yes so let's change it to 120 volts and this also I think this one was okay so we'll do the render again let's turn on the shadows so the changing of the walls of these lights work we don't need to do any other things now we don't need to adjust exposure or maybe we'll try after doing the final render so let's go for it change the settings to medium printer to 300 dpi and render so you can see the rendering is finished and it also night rendering also took like five minutes or six let's close this and we will export this image right. now save let's check this so here we have these two images you can see it's looking very very nice and let's check the night rendering and it's also looking nice so that's how you can do a night rendering in Revit and you can see this grass is looking very nice which I created this family I created a couple of days ago I have uploaded this to my blog or website you can check that out if you want this grass family and that's it for this tutorial I, ha I hope you have learned a lot from this tutorial series so make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the bell icon and see you guys in the next video